Now it's a massive weekend of boxing this weekend. Oscar De La Hoya takes on Manny Pacquiao and Amir Khan returns to the ring to face Oshim Fagan. I'm delighted to say he joins us now. Good afternoon to you, Amir. Good afternoon. How tough a test are you expecting this time around? Yeah, you know, every fight's tough uh, and it's my comeback fight since getting defeated uh, in the last fight. And, you know, I'm confident, you know, the training I've done in LA, uh, I've just got back from there. It's been very, very hard. And, you know, I've come back as a better fighter, a fresh fighter. Mentally and physically, I'm a better fighter, and I just can't wait to get in the ring and fight. Massive shock for everyone watching you against Bradis Prescott. What do you think you've learned since that defeat? Yeah, you know, I've learned a lot. You know, getting beat in a fight, you learn a lot of your defeats. And, uh, you know, I went back, I went to America, I changed a lot of my camp. Um, I did a lot of things and took a lot of things out of uh, the camp. And, you know, I'm a better fighter now. I can see the difference in my style. Uh, the defensively, offense, and um, you know, I'm gonna get in the ring and you know, show the critics all how good Amir Khan is and prove all the doubt is wrong. Yeah, you talk about uh, changing the backroom staff you've got behind you. Freddie Roach is behind you now. How how has he affected? Oh, Freddie's brilliant. You know, working with him um, for six weeks in LA, and you know, I learned so much of him. Uh, he couldn't be here because he's in Manny Pacquiao's corner in Las Vegas on the same day, so he sent his assistants who's going to be in my corner and you know we've got the game plan i'm going to speak to freddie later on today before the fight and hopefully you know uh, we'll have it all right for the fight do you feel you've got a bit of a point to prove oh definitely yeah i've got a point to prove to all the critics out there and all the people out there who think i can't can't become a world champion uh, you know i know i've got all the tools i made a mistake in the last fight and i've come back to fix that there's lots of chat before fights like this, isn't there? And I can quote Ocean Fagan saying that he, uh, he was smashing a crystal vase on the floor as a metaphor for your chin. What do you know about this fella? Yeah, you know, he's going to come into fight. He's a, after, you know, I've had a defeat in my last fight, so he's going to be more confident. He thinks he can catch me on the back foot. Um, I think he, it's the worst time to fight someone like me. You know, you know I'm a better fighter, I'm more serious, I'm a professional. And I'm going to be dangerous in the fight. Come back, the fight I'm going to come back in. So uh, you know he can he can break whatever he wants because in the fight it's going to be a tough tough fight for him. And I don't think he'll you know do what he wants to do in the fight. Let's talk about the fight with Bradis Prescott then, because everyone was expecting so much more from you. What went wrong? Yeah. You know it was so short. The fight was so short. Um, it was hard to get into it. You know I got caught cold it so early in the fight and just didn't get around it. Uh, whereas, you know, I know if, I had, if that fight had gone maybe one or two rounds, I would have warmed up and got into the fight and, you know, beating with my skills. Uh, I got the tactics wrong, the game plan for the fight was wrong, you know, against a puncher, rushing in. I think, you know, them shots he caught me with, I think he would, he would have knocked anyone out. I'll speak to guys like Ricky Atten and, you know, they understand boxing and they were telling me, you know, that guy, uh, Prescott, caught you with some big shots. That's boxing for you, you know, you are going to get hit, you're going to go down. Uh, you just have to come back stronger from it, and that's what's happened. Do you think Prescott might have been the wrong choice for you? Well, you know, I don't think so. Um, I think the match was made at the right time. It was just the tactics were wrong for the fight. I, went, I rushed into an opponent who was, who was a big banger, whereas I should have took my time, used the jab a bit more, uh, and, you know, maybe made him miss a little bit, and then gone in maybe two, three rounds after instead of rushing in straight from the bell, which is a dangerous thing to do. And, you know, I've learned my lesson now. I know what can happen, and I won't be making the mistakes again. But, you know, I love to fight Prescott again, just to prove a point to everyone out there. You know, I'm a better fighter than him. I just got caught in the, on that night, you know, got caught cold. They didn't recover from it. So, you know, I can see the fight happening in the future again, and I can prove, that, I can prove it to all the critics out there how good I was and how good I am. Now, I understand that you've been sparring with Manny Pacquiao. What have you learned from him? I've learned a lot of him, you know, Manny's one of the best fighters in the world, pound for pound best fighter in the world, and you know, he hit me with some good shots, I took the good shots, come back with uh, shots myself, um, you know, sparring was tough, I must have done about 70 rounds of sparring over in LA, and you know, I caught Manny with some good shots as well, and you know, he was impressed, uh, that built my confidence up, you know, knowing I can do well against a guy who's the best in the world, who's a world champion, five times, so yeah, it's given me confidence to come into, come into this fight now, you know, I, I'm going to come in and use that all in my side, you know, use that on my side and uh, beat Ozzy Fagan. Oscar De La Hoya or Pacquiao, who do you think is going to come out on that one? 
I have to back Pacquiao, you know, I'm in the same camp as him. Uh, and, you know, the way he's been training for the fight, the way he's been sparring, the way uh, mentally how he's prepared for the fight, I think he can go in there and, you know, beat Oscar. Oscar's a great name to beat. He's a big fighter, he's a good fighter, he's tough. Uh, and it's going to be a brilliant fight. You know, I can't wait to watch that after my fight. Yeah, well, we were looking forward to your fight. Good luck with it, Amir. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. What a night ahead on Saturday. It all starts with Amir Khan's fight. That's at 10 o'clock. His comeback fight against the Irishman, Oshin Fagan. That card at the XL Arena also features Enzo Macaronelli going for the vacant WBO cruiserweight title. It's followed by De La Hoya against Pacquiao. You heard it there from Amir Khan. He backs Pacquiao live and exclusive from the MGM Grand, Grand in Las Vegas or on Sky Box Office. Do you think Amir Khan will ever fight Ricky Hatton? No. No? No. I just don't see it happening before Ricky Hatton retires. Uh, much more to come on.